Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a basic calculator in PHP. So we're basically gonna design a little program where the user can enter in two numbers, and then our program will add those two numbers together and print out the result. So it's gonna be a pretty simple calculator, but this should show you guys um, how we can get numbers from the user in PHP. So down here, I have a basic little program set up, and essentially in my HTML, I just have a form and the action is set to site.php, and that's the name of the file that I'm currently on. And then over here we have the method as get. And in the last tutorial, I kind of explained what all of this was doing. And then finally down here, we have this submit button, which uh, is basically gonna submit the form so that we can access whatever the user entered in our PHP, which I've placed down here. So the first thing we need to do if we wanna build this calculator is we're gonna to need to get information from the user. So essentially we're gonna to need to get two numbers from the user, right? We're gonna to need to get those two numbers and then we can add them together and print out the result. So what we should do is we should actually create two inputs. So we're basically gonna create like two little um, input boxes where the user can enter in those numbers and then we can grab that information. So I'm gonna create two of these little inputs. I'm just gonna say input and I'm gonna say type is equal to, and in HTML, there's actually a special type we can use for numbers. So you can just say number, and so type equal to number is basically gonna make it so the user can only enter in a number, so they're not gonna be able to enter in um, text. And then over here, we can just give this a name, so I'm gonna say name is equal to, and we'll just call this num1. So this is gonna be the first number that they're gonna enter. Then we can just make like a break tag, and then I'm gonna do this same exact thing. So I'm gonna copy this, and we're gonna go ahead and paste this down here. And again, the input type's gonna be a number, but I'm gonna call this one num2. So now we have input boxes for the first number and for the second number, and we have our submit button. So basically what's gonna happen is when I click that submit button, this information, the information inside of both of these uh, boxes, is going to get submitted and we'll be able to access it from within our PHP. So down here in the PHP, what I wanna actually do is I want to get access to those pieces of information, to num1 and num2. And essentially all I wanna do is add them together. So what I could do is I could actually just say echo and I'm basically just gonna echo out the uh, result of adding those two numbers together. So what we wanna do is we wanna get the first number and I can just say dollar sign underscore get in all caps and then I'm gonna make an open and close square bracket and inside of here, I'm just gonna say num1. And essentially what this is gonna do is it's gonna get whatever the user typed into that first number box and it's going to put it over here. And then what I wanna do is I wanna add num2 onto it. So I'm gonna put a plus sign here and I'm gonna essentially do the same exact thing. I'm gonna say dollar sign underscore get, open and close square brackets, and we're gonna say num2. Essentially what we're saying here is I wanna echo out into the HTML num1 plus num2. And because both of these were entered in as numbers, in other words, because I said the type of input was gonna be a number, PHP will actually add these numbers together as if they were actual numbers. So if I put like two and three in there, we should get five. So this will go ahead and print out the answer. And then I'm just gonna come over here and I'll say answer, and then we'll be printing out the answer. So let's go over to our HTML or to my browser. I'll refresh the page. And you'll see over here, we have our two text boxes. We have our submit button. And then over here, it says the answer is zero. And that's basically just because we haven't entered in any numbers yet. So if I came over here and I said like 10, and then down here we said, uh, I don't know, 21. Now this will give us the result of adding those. So I'm gonna click submit and down here it says 31. So that is essentially how we can go about adding two numbers together. Now I wanna show you guys um, one cool thing. So if I was to make this browser window a little bit bigger, you'll notice up here inside of the URL, we have these little line over here. It says num1 is equal to 10, ampersand num2 is equal to 21. And essentially what this is doing is it's telling us what the values of those variables were. So with PHP, this can actually get added onto the URL. So if I was to change this up here in the URL, like if I change num2 to like 50, and then I clicked enter, this is actually gonna change the information that gets entered in. So without having to type numbers inside of here, like without having to do anything, I was actually able to change 
what the answer was down here. And this is sort of a key concept in PHP. And I wanted to introduce it in this tutorial. Anytime that we're entering in information with that form, when the form gets submitted, the information that got submitted is gonna appear up here in the URL. And so essentially what's happening is when I load up this page, I can give these different pieces of information. So I say like num1 is equal to 100. And now since I said num1 is equal to 100 up here in the URL, it's going to take the value of num1 as 100. So when I click enter now, num1 becomes 100 and it adds those two numbers together. So like I said, whenever we submit that form, that information shows up up here. So if I was to get rid of this and I just hit enter, you'll notice that this whole form gets reset. But, but now if I put in like 40 and I put in 30 and click submit, it's essentially just adding these things onto the end of the URL. And this information is basically telling us what this answer is going to be. So that's sort of like how that works um, up there in the URL. And that's not like, you know, too important. Later in the course, we can actually leverage those URLs to do different things. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna talk more about that later, but I just wanted to kind of um, mention it so you guys aren't confused if you see that stuff up there in the URL. So this program works pretty well and we're able to you know add different numbers together and this kind of shows you um, instead of getting text how we can get numbers and we can actually do math on those numbers in our php program hey thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe to draft academy to be the first to know when we release new content also we're always looking to improve so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything leave a comment below Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.